Welcome back to Factorio. Uh, this is mission one of campaign one. I think it's called A New Hope. And picks off right where the tutorial left off in this story. And that we're crash landed. There's another survivor nearby. And they're giving us our location now. And it's 200 kilometers away. So that stinks. Craft and build a lab. We can do that. Taking a look at the mini map. Um, it'll be small on your screen, but there's uh, small on my screen too. There's little red dots around, so I'm assuming we're going to have some continued invasion from the bugs. So, just getting the materials necessary to assemble a lab. There's one. And they've already set up all the mining here for you. It's kind of cool looking. Uh, there's a lot going on. And seeing as this is my first time really seeing something like this, I'm just going to assume it's set up correctly. Um, this looks like a good place. First thing I should research is probably automation. Okay, that's cool. Fill the lab with science packs. Okay. Um, science packs. Copper plate and a gear. Okay, so there's copper plates down there, and there's gears here. Um, looks like the gears are being used to build track pieces, so we'll just start assembling some of these. And I already have 10 copper plates with me, so we'll just build that real quick. Okay. Um, this is definitely something that I'll want to automate if I can, because look how long it's taking to build those. If it's anything like those radar things, uh, it takes a, quite a bit of time to accomplish one task. Okay, I'm just coming up here get rid of these trees. Oh, so I have some defenses already in place. That's good. I'm going to arm myself real quick. Don't want to get caught out in the middle of open without any ammo. So here should be the copper plates. Eh, there's a few in there. Okay. If you hold shift and then click on the thing, it automatically jumps it over. Anything up here? Oh, there's some stone. Okay, good. power of course we can do that I'm just gonna put a chest there for now and I'm building more labs right now just so that it researches quicker I assume it's just like the um, radar things from the previous episode where you have, if you build more than one they stack on top of each other that should be good there for now. I'm a little worried those turrets don't cover the full front of the base. Um, I'll have to build some more turrets because I do not want anything getting destroyed. It's already set up pretty good. Okay. Automation's just about finished. And uh, I assume this is going to be a pretty long level. So, I'm going to try a format on this where I have the whole level in one episode. Uh, I'm going to try and keep it under a half hour, so when it comes time to uh, maybe research times, because I need logistics to and an engine 
I can do logistics one now, but I can't do the engine yet. So I assume that it's going to take quite a few different parts of the research tree here to get the, the car, the vehicle made. In the meantime, I definitely need to bolster my defenses. So I'm going to hit speed up here for a minute and I think that it's going to work. I think I can keep this episode under a half hour. Um, let me know though if that's annoying if I speed it up. Anyway, we'll, we'll see. We'll give it a try. So what I'm working on right now is automating the creation of the red science pack which requires some gears so my first station there is going to build gears from the steel plates and I'm gonna use this one here to create ammo for the turrets because if you see up in the little mini map anytime that there's a little exclamation mark coming up that's when I'm being attacked and you can see the corpses there on the ground so they come in in waves and invade and the waves just regularly get more difficult so I need um, stone to make these walls and I'm gonna make the walls a little bit thicker and right now we have a, a good automation for the red science packs so I'm gonna extend this wall here and see I have these bricks now so that's awesome so I should be able to build a wall I'm gonna build it all the way across and gets a, a couple of extra turrets set up I have four now thing is is if they come in at the right angle they can just start wreaking havoc on my base and I don't want that so I'm gonna set up a similar system right here and that's looking about the same and this should cover the post and there's an exclamation mark down at the bottom of the map now so I assume that there's another set of turrets down there we'll definitely bolster that up okay so research is coming along good and getting some turrets set up everything's armed well cool so I'm just playing with this just to see if I can get everything working properly so we just finished the electronics let's go ahead and do automation 2 which is required what that's going to do is it's going to give me more options for automating things. These current automation factories that I have built. Oh, there's only two turrets here. I need to build another one. Anyway, the current automation factories that I have built only allow me to put in two ingredients to create a new thing. And some of these things require three ingredients. And so. So I just created a new lab, so I'm making, I have two, not a new lab, two factories making the red science packs. And I don't mind transferring them by hand right now. Eventually I'm going to go ahead and make it so that they automatically feed into the labs. There's an example of a wave. <laughs> I feel that if I only had two turrets there, like the ones they gave me, that wouldn't be enough. So. I really am just going to keep bolstering the defenses here and then I'll do the same thing down below. And I'm speeding up the research process. So as I finish the research, we'll slow it down. Automation 2 is just done. So we need logistics and the engine. But prior to that, military goes quick. I need a new gun in case I get invaded. Yeah, everything's looking good here. So I'm gonna make a couple extra turrets to put down here as well.
There's not a lot of corpses left down there, so they haven't been attacking a ton here, but that being said, I don't want to take any chances. Just getting some walls up here. That should be good, but I just don't want to take any chances. And I'm going to research armor crafting real quick so I can get some armor on myself. I have a shotgun now, which is super cool. And I'll have to go try that out here in a minute. I think that'd be pretty fun. I don't know if I can get strong enough to invade these guys' base, but I'll have to try. Okay, researching logistics. And that went by just fine. Let's see, what's next? So it gave me a fast inserter and a splitter is what that did. And then some underground little conveyor belts. So let's start logistics too. And this one requires green packs as well. So maybe I don't want to do that yet. The engine requires automation too and steel processing. Let's take a look at that. That one's just red. Let's do that one first. Okay, that's done, and I can build a lot of these right now, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, um, and while they're building, we'll start the research process, and I'm going to work on uh, automating the green ones. Because they require three things, I'm going to have to create quite the system, so yeah. We'll go ahead and get this started, and just making sure the wall and the turrets are holding up good. There they are. <laughs> Going exploring. Okay, so as I got close to the base, they had a turret as well that started hurting me. And I don't know if I have the ability to really do anything about that right now. So, no worries about that. Uh, let's see about over here, though. Same thing. Started getting hurt, started getting hurt by a turret. I have a buddy who calls them turrets. <laughs> Not quite. Close enough. So let me know in the comments if this is a good format of this game, or if you'd rather see it slow. I could split it up into like three parts. And I'm going to continue the campaign and do a full series on this, I think. Because it's really, I, it's a really fun game. It's time intensive, meaning that if you want to beat this level, say it'll take about an hour and a half for a beginner like me to beat this. Eventually you get good enough that you could bring that time down, but it really does take quite a bit of time. Okay, so I'm pretty confident with this wall. I like what's going on. And they're not getting near the wall. You can see the corpses where they've died, and they're a few spaces up above it. So I'm pretty... I feel confident about this little setup here. I'm not going to get invaded, so I can kind of relax with the defenses now a little bit and focus on automating the green science packs. And it requires some pretty intensive things, so I'm going to go ahead and reroute copper plates here so that I can build the necessary pieces to do it. So we'll click on this, and I need a computer circuit, electronic circuit, and it requires iron plate and the copper wiring. So let's just do the copper wiring here, yeah, copper cable. So it'll build that, and then we 
get this one building the electronic circuits. And the nice thing is, is they already set up a device to build the track pieces, which is required. Just trying to make all this fit well. We're almost there. There we go. Okay, so we've loaded that up. Just rerouting this around the rock. If I built the steel axe, I think that I could chip that rock down, but it's not bothering me too much. Okay, so I have all the pieces coming up here where I need. And let's go ahead and start the research of the automobilism. And this one is very resource intensive. So I need a ton of green and a ton of red science packs going up to the labs. So I'm just going to go ahead and start that process. Oh, I need to flip that around. Those underground things are super cool. So now we have track pieces coming, and we have the inserters coming, and so this one will be able to build the green science packs now. I'm going to route those up to the lab here, and get the red ones on the same track. So now we have red and green coming to the labs, and I have little inserters here that will move them in as it needs it. There we go. Cool. And obviously we're not producing green science packs quickly enough. So I'm going to go ahead and run down here and create a second thing. We have plenty of inserters, plenty of track pieces, but I need a second assembling machine to put together green science packs. So, that'll take just a second. So anyway, definitely let me know um, if you guys are liking this game. And if so, it is available on Steam for, I think, both operating systems. If you guys have a Mac, you can get this one as well. And oh, that's sending the copper or the inserters up as well. I don't dang, I don't like that. So we have the inserters coming up here now as well. I messed that up. So I unlocked a f smart load inserter, so I can put a filter on this. So that. I could definitely see if you had an advanced system going on that that would help a ton. Does that work? No. Okay, so I need to put the filter on the green science pack right now. It's whatever you put the filter as is what it's going to load. There it goes. That's cool. That's really cool. So I'm just going to clean all this up. I messed it up. Okay, so I went ahead and skipped. I didn't do anything in between the time where the uh, automobilism research started and ended. So I just went ahead and, and skipped ahead. And right now I need to place the car, which is right there. It requires 8 engine parts, 20 plates, and 5 steel plates which is iron plates put into a smelter so where's the engine there it is steel plate iron gear so you can't assemble the engine in your own inventory you have to have a 
assembling plant do it for you. So what that means, I need to build a plant. And wow, I keep calling them plants, an assembly machine that builds the engine for me, which means I need to build assembly means machines to build all the components and loaders, and that's what I'm doing right now. Had I known that, I would have done this earlier, but for right now, we're just going to go to town and get this working. The other m mines that the main base started on are empty, and so I've created a new mine here on the iron ore and used the splitter that I unlocked, and that's really cool. I like that. Just trying to make all this fit properly around this rock. I really should have built the steel axe and gotten rid of it, but that's okay. Okay, so we're here. We have the pipe coming in, the steel plate coming in, and the iron plate coming in. And I just need to get it set up properly. Okay, that's working. And we're short on iron ore, so I'm just gonna increase that mining right now. Move all this, don't need that anymore. And we'll just keep the research going for right now, just cause we can. Okay, so I think we're just about there. Yep, we have eight engine units. Okay, cool. Craft and place the car. Build the car. Oh, <laughs> that's cool looking. Needs fuel? Runs on coal. Coal powered car. Here's all our coal. Just pick this up real quick. Yep, we've got enough. Head down to the car. Press enter to get in. Oh. Well, let's put some fuel in it first. Oh, and some ammo, of course. Vehicle machine gun. And that'll do it. We'll see you in the next episode.